The overall goal of this cloning and transformation procedure is to efficiently generate CRISPR vectors and knock out mutant tomato roots that can be used in functional genomic studies. This method is a useful tool in the field of plant functional genomics because it can generate a large number of knockout mutants that can be used in a variety of root assays. The main advantage of this technique is that the cloning procedure can be accomplished in a single step and transgenic root materials can be obtained in just a matter of weeks. First, design guide RNA, or gRNA oligos, to include the GN19 portion of the target motifs flanked by the 5' and 3' 20 nucleotide sequences required for DNA assembly. Digest 1 to 5 micrograms of P201N Cas9 plasmid with the restriction enzyme SP1 at 37 degrees Celsius for 2 hours. After column purifying the digest according to manufacturer's instructions, resuspend in 15 microliters of 10 millimolar Tris HCl. Quantify the amount of DNA by UV spectrophotometry. Perform a second digest with the restriction enzyme SWA1 at 25 degrees Celsius for 2 hours. Check 100 to 200 nanograms on a 0.8% agarose gel to confirm complete digestion. A correctly digested plasmid will have a single band at 14,313 base pairs. To PCR amplify the Medicago Truncatula U6 promoter and scaffold DNAs from the PUC gRNA shuttle plasmid.